Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another update. So today's update, I really just want to talk and cover two areas. The first is really going to be all about the stimulus package, but specifically social programs. Because right now at this time, there is currently a new plan that is going on because of everything that's happening in the world. As you guys know, with like Russia, Ukraine, the pandemic and everything, in order to try to increase funding now to do more programs. There is also another thing that's going on, as most of you guys know, is which is all about the fourth stimulus checks that you guys have probably seen all over the news now related to things such as like gases, oil, and taxes. Now again, just really, really clarifying out there, most people already know, but just in cases, is that a lot of these programs that relate to the gas oil tax, you don't need to own a car, I don't own a car. I have a license. I can drive, but I don't actually drive because I'm in New York. Um, it's just really just a name. There are a few programs. You do have to own a car, but this one really depends on your specific state and the specific program because there are just so many right now, which is probably why you may have already seen so many videos that talk about a whole bunch of different dollar amounts and that is the exact reason why but i would say for over 80 percent of them you don't need to have a car it's really just a name and the reason it's called gas and oil is because it's a program that's actually funded or something related to gas and oil but that you don't necessarily have to um, be someone that drives and actually physically buys gas and oil but we're going to talk all about that in today's update so Real fast, before we begin, hopefully to finally clarify if everything's, you know, relatively confusing. Before we begin, though, remember to smash the like button because it is always greatly appreciated. If you guys hopefully enjoy videos like this, um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for videos like this. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about anything. Um, maybe about maybe the gas, current gas price situation in your particular state. And huge thanks to every single person that maybe already shared in the last video because it was actually pretty insightful to really hear how wild the gas prices have been skyrocketing all over our country right now it's pretty insane um, so with that being said let's get this video started So the story to what's been happening right now is we're going to start by talking a little bit about the pandemic in general because it is actually very very important and it is something that is going to influence the whole topic of this video which is going to be about stimulus checks and stimulus packages and it's really to share the fact that right now the pandemic cases they're skyrocketing once again and it's really really wild and why this is very very important to us is is because a lot of these programs that we talk about is going to have a massive massive influence or whether or not they even happen is very very hugely related to how the pandemic situation happens and the idea is is that right now at this time and actually technically ever since this entire pandemic started most of the things that we have gone through started in foreign countries first so we've basically been a little bit of like a shadow that kind of follows along with whatever happens to the rest of the world which actually in a way as maybe not so good the fact that we're talking about something that's not so good may actually be a little bit of a hopeful silver lining because it means that we're at least maybe able to have a heads up to learn from them since at least we're not the first one it's kind of like the quote they always say is, is that a lot of times sometimes as difficult as it is to say things have to kind of happen so that we can hopefully try to learn and try to grow from it but wouldn't it be even better if instead of trying to just learn from things that have you know but that may potentially happen we can learn from things that have potentially maybe already happened to other countries as well before it actually comes over here so why this is related is that because of the increased spikes in cases that are happening right now there are still a lot of foreign countries that are still locked down or certainly going through restrictions i know for example in asia and i speak of this because i also you know spend a lot of time back then in asia and I follow Asian international news. But in a lot of parts of Asia, right now to this day, there are actually still a lot of very, very strict restrictions that are happening there, which means that many people outside of the country can't even go to visit them even people that actually know people like me that live in those countries we aren't even allowed to be able to visit them so why this kind of relates is that now traveling back to america is is that because of this increased fear that's going on in a lot of the other countries 
There are a lot of politicians and just big figures in general, such as like Nancy Pelosi, people inside of Congress, even President Joe Biden, Dr. Fauci, and a lot of people that are now trying to request in order to try to get Congress to now approve of more aid, specifically just for different kinds of programs in general. The focus about this is, is that what they really want is, is that they want to use this money, obviously, to do with things like fighting the pandemic. So everything related to like pandemic testing, vaccines, boosters, healthcare, everything in that world. But it's that by physically having the money to approve and hopefully now send out again, they also give a lot of states the freedom to decide what to do with them. And so if they're able to have excess money, it is very, very probable now they have the power to choose what they want to do with the money if they're able to physically approve it on their own. So whether this comes with things very immediately related to the pandemic or even other things such as like social programs, stimulus checks, social security, pandemic EBT, child tax, programs, mini checks, you know, all those kinds of tax credit tax credit programs, or just all sorts of programs meant to put money in our pockets. I believe that Nancy Pelosi wants to request $45 billion. President Biden wanted to request $22.5 billion. Dr. Fauci wanted to, I guess, press or revive Biden's push and also do $22.5 billion. In other words, he's basically just trying to side and preach for it even further. And so the idea is that if they're able to get this money through, the hope is, is that maybe this will now be able to be used for other kinds of future programs, whether this again has to do with the actual testing, relief, healthcare, everything in that world. But the idea is hopefully just money meant to not just, you know, put hopefully inside of our pockets or to save us money in general, but also maybe to just improve quality of life for just most of us in general. And I think that's the ultimate goal. Now, when it comes to now maybe talking about the fourth stimulus checks, but especially about the gas checks. So we're going to talk about specific states and then we're going to talk and end this maybe with just what's been going on collectively. So hopefully to try to be as inclusive as possible. But the first thing we're going to really talk about is going to be in the state of Maine. So in Maine, interestingly, what's happening right now is, is that Governor Mills over there has actually now started to create and has been technically actually has already been for the last like months been trying to create their own individual proposal of doing fourth stimulus checks and they've been consistently changing the dollar amount but the good news is by increasing the dollar amount so at least it's actually going up now where i believe the most recent amount is is that they originally wanted to bump it to 750 dollars now there's talks about bumping it to 850 dollars so about 750 to 850 dollars they're hoping to send out stimulus checks in that range starting again this is still a proposal we're, we're going to talk about some programs that have already been approved but this one is still relatively a proposal but they do see it promising and coming very very close to arrival um that they're going to start to send out these checks around july 2022 if keyword is if everything goes according to the governor's schedule but that's really the plan that they're trying to have right now now, the next state that we're really going to talk about is going to be in the state of Florida. Now, Florida, admittedly, they have had a lot of talks. The actual amount is not confirmed right now. But what's going on is, is that they want to try to create some kind of gas tax break in order to also um, save money or just basically help out people that buy gas. This one actually is something where you do actually relatively have to have a vehicle in order to try to benefit from. Most of them you don't, but this is just an example of one of them that you actually do have to have it. If this goes through, they're hoping to maybe start this program right around October of 2022. So this would be like the estimated arrival date. Now, the next couple of states is, is we're just going to run through them because it is a little bit of a, 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 a semi-update from one of the last updates, which is the fact that in Minnesota, there is a $500 stimulus check for individuals, people making under $164,000 per year. In California, they're doing a $400 stimulus check, and this is going to be regardless of whether or not you own a vehicle, hoping to try to uh, do this right around late spring to early summer of 2022. Now, 
The one in California is also still a proposal, but it is actually looking very, very promising to happen right now at this time. But the one state I will say that actually does have something that actually is approved right now, and maybe this is the really, really great news, is actually in the state of Michigan. So Michigan right now has a program that's going on where they're hoping to try to send out $400 stimulus checks. This one, you do have to own a vehicle, However, I believe most people, just given the nature of Michigan, um, most people there actually do very much have a vehicle. And what's also really nice is, is that they're trying to give this money per vehicle that the person owns based off of who's registered with each vehicle. So what this means is, is that if you own two cars, it's going to be 800. If you own three cars, 1200 and just goes on and on depending on how many cars you have that's just something that they're currently hoping to do they're still waiting for the full details but it is something that they've pretty much already announced more or less and i think that is the really really great news now in terms of what does this actually mean for every other state that maybe was not mentioned is that i think the big goal is is that a lot of states are trying to now come out with their own gas tax programs as most of you guys know however there are actually a lot of talks that are trying to happen right now on a na nationwide level, so a national level, where what they really want to do is, is that there's already proposals that are on the table. They want to take a lot of the programs that we just mentioned, as we just talked about in different states, but try to create some kind that we can basically apply to every state all across the country. The big idea is that they're trying to get some kind of federal program through, and if this ends up happening on the nationwide level, then maybe now every state can benefit from it. The reason why a lot of states have started to take independent action, aside from the fact because they also have their own money to do so, is really just as a backup. Because since they don't know if it's able to approve on a national level, in order to maybe help their people, they're, they'll be able to start it by at least just doing it on a state level. However, if the programs end up actually somehow approving on a national level, what is really, really great is, is that there's going to be now people in select states can actually now potentially now receive not just a fourth, but even a fifth stimulus check now, because they're going to now potentially receive a stimulus check from their individual state, and then an additional stimulus check on the national level. So I know a very common question is what happens if your state approves something, but then the country also approved something, would it be one or, the e one or the other? And the answer is that it would actually be both. And I think that is the really, really great news. But of course, I think that's maybe one of the most important things to maybe clarify. But the biggest is, is that we're just waiting for even more information to come out now. So if you guys made it all the way through, that's pretty much what I really wanted to cover. So thank you guys so much for watching as always. Hopefully if you guys found something insightful and haven't done so, consider smashing the like button, consider subscribing, hitting the bell. Of course, you guys can always decide but it is always greatly appreciated. And of course, you know, if you guys are hopefully interested in learning as we get more information. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well. Feel free to maybe comment any questions, personal thoughts, or the situation, what it's like there in your state. And hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.